A list of the parts needed can be found on the Win Lift Build Guide found on TeachYouGeek.com under Documents. For this kit, you will need a TeachYouGeek multi cutter, a TeachYouGeek reamer, a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. Components and free documents for this activity are available at TeachYouGeek.com. The TeachYouGeek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our TeachYouGeek multi cutter. But don't use the multi cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our TGG components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. Place the screws through the holes marked in the picture above with the red dots. Place your screw through the back side of your hole plate in the hole that was marked out previously. Now go ahead and take your perpendicular block and set it on top of your screw. Twist it a little bit to get it started. Flip your hole plate over again and screw it in the rest of the way. Add a number 10 nut on top. Once both of your perpendicular blocks are facing the same direction, you can go ahead and tighten down the nut with a pair of pliers. Take a perpendicular block and place the end of a 12 inch dowel into it. You can use the easy cutters to tap the dowel into the perpendicular block. And then place another dowel into another perpendicular block. Now that you have both dowels, go ahead and place them into the perpendicular blocks attached to the hole plate. Make sure that the perpendicular blocks are facing the same direction. Cut a dowel to 125 millimeters, which is about 5 inches. Take your cut dowel and place it into one side of the perpendicular block. Then go ahead and place that dowel into the same side of the opposite perpendicular block. Using your Teacher Geek reamer, clean out the other holes of the perpendicular block. To use a reamer, just simply twist it back and forth until it goes all the way through and then give it some full turns to clean out the rest of the hole. Take another dowel and cut it to 250 millimeters, which is about 10 inches. Cut a small piece of slide stop and place it onto the end of your dowel. Slide the slide stop down 50 millimeters, which is about 2 inches. Push the 10 inch dowel into the mini hub base. Make sure that the slide stop is on the same side. Place the mini hub cover onto the base. and insert the screw. Give it a little twist to get it started. Grab the base with a pair of pliers and you can screw the screw in the rest of the way. Take the dowel with the hub on it and place it into the holes that you previously reamed out. Cut another small piece of slide stop and place it onto the other end of the dowel. Then slide it down so it almost touches the perpendicular block. Cut a piece of string that is 450 millimeters, which is about 1.5 feet. Then tape it onto the dowel with the hub on it. Poke two holes into your cup. You can use the skewers with the points on them to make a hole. Make sure the holes are opposite each other. Attach the wire however you feel will work the best. Now just tie the other end of the string onto your wire.
Cut off the tips of the skewers, but only remove 6 millimeters, which is about a quarter of an inch. Go and gather some materials for your blades. You can use cardboard, cardstock, tape, or whatever else you have laying around. I'm going to use chipboard to make my blades. Mark and cut out a section that is 215 millimeters, which is about 8.5 inches long, and 50 millimeters, which is about 2 inches wide. You're going to need to cut out two more blades at these dimensions. Place the tape halfway over the edge of the blade material. Flip the blade over so the tape is sticky side up. Touch the skewer onto the edge of the blade so it's also touching the tape. Then fold the tape over and press down to adhere. Once you have all three blades made, it's time to insert them into the hub. Loosen the number 6 screw on your hub to allow room to put the blades in. Once you've placed all the blades into the hub, tighten down the screw. You can loosen the screw slightly if you need to change the angle of the blades. Now that you're done, go ahead and place some weight into the bucket and see how much it can lift. Try designing better blades. Maybe change the angle or the whole blade itself. Would more blades work better? How about less? Experiment with different blades and see how much you can get it to lift.